Today, we're reading Marvin Gets Mad. He looks really mad. On a perfect morning, Marvin and Molly found a tree full of big, juicy apples. There was one apple that Marvin really wanted, but no matter how high he jumped, he couldn't quite reach it. Maybe it'll fall off, thought Marvin. He waited and waited, eventually, but the apple did not fall. Eventually, Marvin fell asleep. When Marvin woke up, the apple was gone. Molly was eating it. I wanted that apple, shouted Marvin. Sorry, said Molly. I didn't know. Marvin was not happy. Don't get mad with me. There are a lot more apples in the tree. I wanted that apple, shouted Marvin. And you have eaten it. Marvin was so mad, he grew mad teeth, mad horns, mad feet. And a mad tail. I want my apple! Calm down, said Molly. No! shouted Marvin. And he stamped over on the flowers. He knocked over the chicken shed. He frightened the ducks and bit the cow's tail. Marvin didn't know what he wanted anymore. He stamped his big mad feet and let out the big mad. Ah! As Marvin stamped harder and harder, the g- began to rumble underneath him, and suddenly, crack! The ground opened up and swallowed him whole. Marvin fell deeper and deeper, <laughs> and landed with a foot, all alone in the dark. Bah! shouted Marvin. But no one could hear him. He tried to break the wall, but that only hurt his head. Marvin was all alone. He closed his eyes and remembered. The perfect day in the meadow. I wish Molly was here, he thought. Gradually, Marvin felt less mad. When Marvin opened his eyes, there was Molly. I'm sorry I was so angry, said Marvin. That's okay, said Molly. I can't find you. I thought you might be lost. And look, I found another big juicy apple. It's for you. Thank you, said Marvin. And Molly showed Marvin the way back up to the meadow. Everything was perfect again. But Marvin didn't want an apple anymore. He wanted a pear. But no matter how high he jumped, he couldn't quite reach it. Maybe he's going to get Molly to help him. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe for more books, scratch, and stories.